All right, that's Jesse Deans on the trumpet. Ethan Buck on the saxophone. Bryce Winston on the tenor sax. Yeah. So that's Els Bop. Good little tune. Um, we're really grateful for you uh, that you share your Friday night with us here at Ravenscroft in the Jazzbird Lounge. I'm grateful to the team here, Alejandro and uh, Chance and other folks who are helping us with sound and tech, our bartending team, our security team, our box office team. It's a great group we have here, and you have many opportunities to do other things on Friday night. You could stay home. You could go to a sports bar and see how the D-backs are doing. You could... You could go see Dave Schmidt, who I love, no relation, Dave Schmidt, who I love, who's playing at the Nash tonight. But you chose to come here, and we're grateful you're here. So we'll try and uh, put a bounce in your step as you leave tonight, and hope you will have enjoyed the creativity that is in abundance to my left. So we're going to keep going with a, a nice little tune from Randy Brecker, originally from his album In the Idiom which was a two-horn front line, him on trumpet and Joe Henderson on tenor sax. I've adapted this a little bit to work with three horns, and this is a beautiful tune of his entitled Moon Tide.
Thank you. Isn't that a great tune? Never gets played at jazz gigs, so. Yeah, nice tune from Randy Brecker. There's a very interesting tune on that in the idiom album that is entitled There's a Mingus Among Us. You can figure out the influences on that too. So um, In the Idiom is the name of it. Joe Henderson just absolutely killing it. David Kakofsky on piano. Really good album. So um, we're going to continue with an arrangement I've done on Thelonious Monk's Evidence. Um, this will feature anybody who wants to solo.
Let's give some love to the bass player. That's Scott Black. <laughs> Only halfway through the set, and we finally remember to give the bass player a solo. Um, I actually congratulate us. I think that's better than the usual, right? So, all right. So maybe it'll be a National Bass Players Day someday, and it'll be Paul Chambers' bass on top 24-7. I don't know. So I've been informed that uh, providing only the Diamondback score is not helpful, so I don't know. Hey there, video people, and we haven't rehearsed this, and you can't hear me, but you can lip read. I'll look right into the Campbell camera. So there. Maybe uh, that camera over there, let's give them an updated score so they know what's really going on. So, yeah, so that was not helpful, but now... Yeah. 5-3? Five, three. Five, three. Oh, see, because I have uh, Tottenham Hotspur up there because I didn't know what the other team to put. They scored two today. So, all right. So, um, I think we'll have to... Yeah. Rob and I don't know sports. That's the thing. I mean, I like NASCAR, but I think we could debate whether that's sports or not. So, um, yeah. So Tottenham Hotspur, they won today. I'm really happy for them. So, um, Are we doing Beatrice? Yeah. yeah, okay. So Ethan is, uh, how did you term it? Uh, old, was it grandpa jokes? What did, you, what did you say? You know, sort of the, my generation trying to make the audience laugh like an MC was, yeah, yeah sure, we'll go with grandpa. Yeah, so he's, uh, he's had it with my old grandpa jokes and he would like to share with you his interpretation of a great Sam Rivers tune entitled Beatrice.
me. That's Ethan Buck. All right, now, oh my gosh, I skipped one. What is going on? I was ready for my three pager. All right, we'll just have to wait for that magnum opus. We'll go with a one pager here. This is an original of mine entitled Percolate. Hey, Rob, do you remember during the sound check I said we talk about it before the gig? How'd that go? Yeah, do, did we talk about it before the gig? Yes, we have no bananas. Yeah, that's right. All right. So, okay, so now I need honest feedback from the crew. At some point, I lost a button in this general vicinity. Did the camera pick that up so I can look at my uh, belly for years to come online? Are we okay? Is that good? I also want to thank you for not checking out my belly. I'll be honest with you. I don't like being objectified like that. So thank you. That's good. Appreciate that. All right. Good. Yeah, boy. Red button issue right there. Okay. Shut up and play. Is that what you say? Because that's what I hear.
Thank you. That was an original of mine entitled Percolate. It has a lovely uh, text box in it, what's about 700 words and eight point. It. That's, what, that's what happened is I read you it. You read it, and this great thing happened. That's awesome. So I try to be really prescriptive in what I'd like, but then I yield because they're more creative than I am. And so the last sentence says, and it's dead serious after all these explanations, it says, or do whatever you want. <laughs> So that's what we get when they do whatever they want. So we've got uh, one more sextet tune for you, and then I'm going to play a quick uh, duo with Bryce, and we'll send you off to intermission, where I know there are brownies and ice cream. Let's give it up for the catering team tonight. Yeah. We're grateful to have them here. They'll be back tomorrow night as one additional enticement to come out and check out Anthony Fung. No, the slide doesn't have to be there. You're okay, team upstairs. And uh, let's see, after Percolate, we've got Noisy Mumbler. That's another original of mine we're going to lay on you. That's an anagram for My Minor Blues. So this is Noisy Mumbler.
That's Jesse Deems on the trumpet. Ethan Buck, alto sax. Rob Moore on the drums. Thanks for trading sixes, Rob Moore. OK. This is Scott Black on the bass. And we love them so much, we're going to invite them off the stage. Bryce and I are going to conclude the first set with a duo. We're going to play Steve Swallow's I'm Your Pal. And the pal in question is Lee Burke. So many of you know uh, Lee Burke, who had retired here, lived in Sagewood with his uh, wife, Susan. He passed away earlier this week, uh, in case you don't know about Lee. Uh, obviously a staunch supporter of the arts and a namesake of the Berkeley School of Music. So he had retired out here to Sagewood, was a real supporter of activities here. I had actually just seen him at the Ben Wendell concert a couple of Saturdays ago and was really shocked to hear of his passing. It was a sudden passing. So he's been a great friend to jazz nationally. Um, I saw all kinds of online tributes to him from f uh, folks who've actually appeared here, Tamir Hendelman, Tierney Sutton, and some other folks uh, saying how much Lee Burke uh, positively affected their successful journey in creative music. So I just wanted to play a little duo as a, an epilogue to the first set and uh, didn't want to do a typical elegy or a lament, but we'll play a somewhat melancholy tune of Steve Swallows, but a beautiful ballad. It's entitled, I'm Your Pal. And after I'm Your Pal, I encourage you to head off to uh, ice cream and brownies, but we'll all be in prayer for his uh, widow, Susan, who was obviously blindsided by the sudden passing of the great Lee Burke. So here's I'm Your Pal. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
That's Bryce Winston. All right. Not the toe tapper to send you out to intermission, but we're delighted you're here. Go frolic. Go find some nice desserts. Please come back for the second set that features these amazing creatives. Thank you.
Hey, Rob, how you doing? We've had any number of unrehearsed bits that should have been rehearsed tonight, so can I add one more? This is Rob Moore, everybody. I'm peeling back the curtain in uh, Ravenscroft to reveal that it's you and a Scottish Terrier yipping at you or however that movie went. So Rob, if I were to offer two free tickets to Anthony Fung uh, and his quartet uh, performing tomorrow night here, um, could the budget withstand that? Okay. Is anyone at the box office still? Chance, can you look and see? Okay, that's good. Hi there, box office, my new best friend. So can anyone tell me, for two free tickets to tomorrow night's concert, um, what's different for the second set? <laughs> two free tickets. Jacket. My jacket is different. <laughs> yes, yes, it was a very small window pane, and now it's a huge window pane. So I'm totally into Taylor Swift. You can tell that's my generation. <laughs> and I heard she has like 29 costume changes for a 35 tune set. And I thought, man, the least I can do to not phone it in is to do one costume change. <laughs> so, all right, so can we raise our hand? Who came up with the jacket is different? Yeah, okay. So on your way out, uh, check in with the box office, and should you be interested and available to come to Anthony Fung tomorrow night, two free tickets to hear amazing jazz from a national touring group. Uh, Alex Hahn, for instance, on saxophone is a multi-Grammy nominee, right, in the band. So it's a great band. If you're available and interested, two free tickets. Also, I shaved. Drop the bomb, yeah, I dropped the bomb with that. Look at this, right, yeah. So I went all out on the costume change. It'll never happen again. Hey there, friends upstairs. Do we have the Tottenham Hotspur score from earlier today? All right, oh, that's not Tottenham Hotspur. They scored two today. All right, do we have the slide? Oh my gosh, they told me we'd have a slide. This is, uh, uh, man, this is like Jordan when, uh, is it there? Oh, that's good. It's not on the side when I got confused. So, um, It's like my son Jordan on Christmas morning when he opened up, uh, was it socks? And he said, I didn't order these. <laughs> so, so I'm sure you didn't order this. So can we give them the slide they really want? Oh, that's it. Okay, look at this up to date. I have turned this place into a sports bar, Rob. <laughs> this is great. All right. So... Whether you want it or not, here comes an original from me entitled Blue. No more jumping.
Thank you very much. Yeah, so that was blue and original from me. We're going to invite the young uh, gentleman to uh, go frolic. We had, a, we had a quartet tune with Ethan on the first set. I wanted to be sure all these great horn players had an opportunity to stretch with a quartet tune. So we'll do two quartet tunes now. Uh, we're going to start with Antonio Carlos Joe Beam's If You Never Come To Me featuring Bryce.
That's Bryce Winston. From all the way around the world, because he drove south out of Tucson. Left in June, right? Yeah, man. No, that's commitment. That's commitment to get to the gig. We appreciate that. So, uh, how many new cars did you have to buy along the way? I bet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, you can just buy new tires, right? Yeah. Yeah, sure. We should talk more. So, all right. So, let's see. Is this Jesse Deves? Sure. Yeah, it is. Oh, I know. Good. I'm glad to see you. I was, I was afraid you, you know, took another gig or something, but all right. That's good. It does. Uh, a player this talented gets double booked. So we're delighted Jesse's with us from out of state uh, in the middle of his semester. Did I hear a rumor that you cleared it with Terrell and like you're good to be here because there was no gigs for the Temple Jazz Ensemble and then and then he added a gig and yet you're here and getting a B minus from him. Maybe. Okay. All right. We'll send him the tape. Maybe he'll approve of what he hears. Awesome. All right, so this is a Lewis and Klenner standard entitled Just Friends.
That's Jesse Deems. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jesse went to Desert Ridge. Yeah, Desert Ridge High School. Stephanie Campbell. Yeah, that's right. And uh, for four years, this uh, young fellow was all state jazz ensemble, uh, tr uh, jazz ensemble one, trumpet one. So even as a ninth grader, best, best trumpeter in the state. And it just keeps going. He won't stop until he's the best trumpeter in Pennsylvania next, but that'll mean Terrell has to get a house in Jersey, maybe, because Terrell's pretty good. He might have a house. I think he has a house in Jersey. Oh, that's great. Okay. The next greatest trumpeter from Arizona and Pennsylvania, that's Jesse Deems. Yeah, baby. By order of the fire marshal, the stage can take six people, so let's invite the saxophone section back up. And let's see how we're doing on time. Okay, we can uh, sneak in a shorty and a, and a shorty or shorty. So, okay, I think we can fit two more tunes in. We're going to continue with a beautiful Wayne Shorter ballad entitled Infant Eyes. Let me quick go through the band again. That's Rob Moore on the drums. <laughs> Scott Black on the bass. Jesse Deems, trumpet and flugelhorn. Ethan Buck, alto sax. Bryce Winston, tenor sax. I'm Russ Schmidt, and you've been enjoying Nuvi. And uh, here comes Infant Eyes by Wayne Shorter.
All right, that was Infant Eyes by the great Wayne Shorter. Um, that one featured Ethan Buck and Bryce Winston. We have come to the end of our journey together, friends. I'm so grateful you have come out and uh, supported live music. I was talking with Mario Barnaby recently. He's the CEO of Music Serving the Word, which is a 501c3 nonprofit that actually, crazy as it might seem, a beautiful performing arts center like that is actually an outreach of MSW. So um, I was talking with Mario earlier this week, and I feel like the thing we need to keep building here is a sense of community. Um, that we come, we share music together, we enjoy creatives like these five amazing people to my left um, in a beautiful setting with lovely acoustics and all that, but the bottom line is as beautiful as the architectural detail is in the music and the sound and the video. Um, the important thing is we do it together, that we have a sense of community. So should you attend more live music events or theater or dance or whatever you like, um, drag some friends out. Let's get more people out in our arts community and let's share these experiences together. I had a beautiful time playing for you tonight. I had a terrible time shaving, but other than that, <laughs> it was a really good night and I hope you enjoyed tonight as well and might consider coming back to Ravenscroft, so thank you. Last thing to say, I hope you tip your bartender generously. Yeah, baby. Testify, sister. All right. I think there's a good chance we're going to close with a great piece I adore by Kenny Wheeler, who was a Canadian trumpeter and flugelhornist, but who spent most of his professional career in London. Um, was an avant-gardist, but also wrote some lovely straight-ahead stuff. And um, this is a tune of his entitled Foxytrot, it will feature any number of members of the band who still have the stamina to solo at 9.30. Thank you for coming out. This is Foxy Trot, and you've been listening to Nuvi. Thank you.
Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you very much, friends. Jesse Deems, Bryce Winston, Ethan Buck, Rob Moore, Scott Black. I'm Russ Schmidt. Thank you. Tell your friends about Ravenscroft. We have abundant parking, so come on down. And we'll see you down the road a piece. Thank you and good night. <laughs>